Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. I'm going to show you in this video um, some cool little things that you can do making clouds in pixel art using Pixel Mesh, our resolution independent pixel art editor. Um, and this is a new version that is uh, going to be the next beta to be released, um, but it's not out quite yet, uh, probably at the time of this video posting, so you'll see it soon. Uh, I'm going to start by making a new document. I'm going to make this wider than it is tall. And um, what this is doing, it's going to make this uh, a pixelized resolution of 64 by 32. But um, under the hood, the image is going to be a resolution of 640 by 320. So I can change the resolution of the pixelization level up or down. And let me just turn on the grid here. Uh, let me start by making the background color sort of a sky color since we're going to be making clouds. Let me put that there. Um, okay, uh, now let's start just painting a base layer of a cloud. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to parent this layer, and I'm just going to call this full cloud, and you'll see why I'll do this later, but um, uh, I'm going to have this cloud be in a couple of bits inside of that full cloud. And so we're going to paint our first cloud bit. Um, let me start actually by, whoops, that's changing the background color. I'm going to change the paint color, but I'm going to make a palette of colors to, to work with. So the first color, I hit the tilted key to add a color to the palette. Um, and let's make, let's put in three colors. So I've got a white, a gray, and then let's do a medium gray in between those. And I hit tilt again, and I'm just dragging this. So that now these three grays are in order here in the palette. And I can also hit the up and down keys to just switch between those. And whichever one I go to next will blink off for a second. So that's an easy way to go between these. So I've got the, the white color selected. That's my uh, preferred way to start with the cloud is to paint the lightest parts first. And I can change this. Um, I don't know how well you can see this on the blue background, but I can change the radius of this by holding down Command or Control and scrolling up or down. So let's start with a fairly big size thing. And I'm actually, I'm painting in the pixelized version now. I'm gonna to toggle the pixelization off so that I'm painting in the high res mode um, so that we can see better what's going on and then we'll pixelize it later. So I'm just gonna do some little roundy cloud kind of shapes. Um, let's give it some real cumulonimbus stuff going on here. Um, this looks like kind of a good base shape here. And then um, I can hit the E shortcut to do some erasing, make this sort of a horizon kind of a cloud that has kind of a flat bottom to it. Looks pretty good. Okay, um, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna use this paint tool up here that will only paint inside of pixels that are already painted. And so um, that will help me to stay within the, the shape that I've already drawn. So you see if I select this medium gray color, if I just paint across this, you can see it's not gonna paint outside the lines and that can be useful for when you just wanna add shading to something. So uh, let's say that the sun is coming maybe from the upper left hand side. So as we paint in some of these shadowy colors, maybe it'll look something kind of like this. Um, we can just get these going and it'll be somewhat predictable, somewhat unpredictable. And let me change the brush size. This will work better if I use a little bit of a smaller brush size. This is the medium gray color. Again, we'll go in with the, uh, the darker gray to put in more variations in here in a minute. So let's say maybe kind of like this. No two clouds are going to be alike. Um, and again, I, I can hit the up and down arrow keys to change between things. So if I want some, some light color inside of here, then I just arrow over to the white and then come back to the medium to get some more Colors and let me just color this in like this for now. And let's switch to the darkest color. Get sort of a layer of that down here. There's no right or wrong way to do this.
and um, let's get some more white here. Okay, let's let that do it for now. Let's just, I'm gonna to toggle on the pixelization. Let me turn off the grid and increase and decrease this and just see how it's looking. Um, I kinda of wanna tweak this a little bit more. Let me just go back to this paint within the regions color and I can put some dark stuff up here. There we get a little bit more variation in there. Let's see how that looks pixelized. All right, that's starting to look a little bit better. Um, now, so this is sort of a one simple piece of cloud. Um, I'm gonna use some of Pixel Mash's special tools to make a kind of a more complicated, compelling cloud, a cloud that sort of uh, can be animated and move. And so, like I said when I was setting this up, I've got the full cloud and the cloud bit here. Um, I'm going to duplicate this layer. So now I have two of these that look the same. And you can see what I can do here is I can scale this. Let's put the bigger one, kind of like it in front. And maybe we could even make a third one by duplicating this. And make it kind of small and over here. You can see that um, dragging these around lets me make a more complicated cloud quite easily. And if I select this full cloud thing, I can move the whole thing around together and scale it or whatever. So um, what this grouping also does is it lets me use these, um, these layer effects. So with the full cloud, if I add an effect, an outline, it will go around all three individual cloud pieces that I've got inside of this full cloud. And I can adjust that outline to the color I want. And it kind of depends on what kind of effect I want to go for. If I want to go for a silver lining or a little bit moodier, darker. Um, and then you can just uh, yeah tweak these and you can see that that outline will update nicely around the entire thing as I'm dragging this and resizing and making kind of a... Um, whatever I want with my cloud customizations here. Now, uh, let's make this animated just so that it moves a little bit, um, kind of like clouds naturally do as they're floating through the sky. So I'm going to come to the animation tab here. And uh, you can see it's on transforms only. So when I add a new keyframe, this, uh, this is going to be animating. So uh, when I adjust the transforms from frame to frame of these, whether I'm scaling it or moving it or whatever, it will only animate that those transforms. Um, so like if I move this middle part up a little bit, um, I'm going to hit arrow left to right, you can see now that that cloud bit between those frames is moving. Maybe I want it to move a little less. And then I can do that with each of these cloud pieces, give them a little bit of a nudge. All right, and then uh, if I, let me set this animation to two seconds. If I hit play, you can see that the cloud will just slowly sort of evolve over time. Kind of gives that sense of a cloud moving, which is pretty fun. And you can add more frames to this if you want to, to make it actually do that. And uh, as with Pixel Mash being resolution independent, I can change the resolution on this for if I want to make smaller clouds or further away clouds, or if I just like the stylized look of that, I can adjust this resolution on the fly and sort of uh, get a lot of different looks with that. Um, another cool thing that you could do with this, maybe instead of uh, making the cloud animated, you could use these, these different frames to actually make different clouds using these same pieces. So I'm going to change the animation to be transforms and visibility so that if I change the visibility from one frame to the next of, of a layer that it will remember that. So for example, let's turn off, okay, let's turn off 
that that big cloud bit in this frame. So if I go to frame one, it's got all three cloud bits showing. Frame two has just got those two other ones. And so it's, I've sort of made totally different clouds on these. And let me duplicate frame one here and let's make another one. Uh, so we get rid of that one and we um, move this kind of like this. Now, if I go between these frames, let me deselect that. You can see I've got three totally different clouds that I could export. Um, if I go to save export image, I could do that as like a sprite sheet. Um, and it would have a, a different cloud in each of the frames. Or I could just export a single frame at a time. And again, I can make, you know, right now I've made three different clouds. I can do these at one resolution. I can increase the resolution. Then I've got three larger clouds that I could use. Um, so I've got kind of six clouds that I've made. And it's really easy just to uh, um, tweak these and, and make pretty cool looking stuff really quickly. Uh, I'll just show you one more fun thing to do with this with the layer effects. If I come back to the full cloud here. Um, let me add a colorize effect, which can be nice for doing things like making, you know, moody sunset clouds, for example, um, or like uh, storm clouds, um, or just, you know, a pale blue to match the sky, sort of more dreamy clouds. And uh, apply it to all of those. Um, uh, so anyway, it's a lot of cool stuff you can do with Pixel Mesh because of the, the way it's set up with the resolution independence and the, um, you know, uh, how you can use uh, transforms and layer effects to, to uh, tweak things really quickly with that. We hope you enjoy it, and this will be out very soon. Thanks.